Hey everybody, it's Boys of the Most Toys coming at you again today, and today we have Sentinel Prime, G1 Sentinel Prime. It may look different from what you remember from the Bay movies, and in the original script for the G1 cartoon, in which Rodimus goes back and travels through the Matrix to see the history of the Transformers, he is just called U-Haul Robot. Somehow retcon back into the orange and blue colors of Sentinel Prime that we later see in E-Animated Series or Transformers Animated. So, Sentinel Prime is this kind of, kind of looks like the Zord, uh, the Rhinoceros Zord, um, from uh, Power Rangers. Well, not really. He's like this weird looking truck that has a rhinoceros head or some sort of something like this. But anyway, he was some kind of side Patronian vehicle. And you can see him there. He's, uh, yeah, side Patronian vehicle with horns. It's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, in the you, in the uh, video you see him, or in the episode of Transformers you see him with a shield that looks like a tire and a mace kind of weapon, and he's fighting in gladiat gladiatorial combat for the Quintessons. So I also include those accessories, which we'll see when we transform him into his robot mode. So without further ado, let's check out this leader class G1 cartoon version Sentinel Prime. Okay, transformation. First thing we want to do is kind of jiggle this rhino head out of the way and get it out of the way. From here, you can see very quickly arms, legs, body. So from here, we are going to flip this upward. Ah, it's self transforming. No, shouldn't have done that for us by itself. Let's just go back here and take care of that. Um, but anyway, okay, so we're going to move up the front sections of the vehicle to become the arms, of course. This is going to become the head. We're going to the seat, so um, like that. From here, he's basically Sentinel Prime sitting down. So we're going to turn him around. We're going to move this head into a nice position. From here we are going to separate the legs. We have a few components here we have to deal with. We have heel spurs. I'm going to click them out. Then we have the feet which we're going to turn up like so. And we're just going to stand him up into a standing position and complete the arms. Rotate the feet into a position that you would like. Can you see all that? No. Let's just move the camera up slightly and finish the transformation. From here, you're going to take each arm and flip it out accordingly. Okay, there's one. And here, is the second pose it however you like His feet are posable and there's pretty much it everyone it's Sentinel Prime well let's, 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 let's take a look at his feet the camera's really stiff there we go Drifting too much. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. So, Sentinel Prime. As I said, he comes with his gladiatorial combat stuff. He has a shield, which you can put in his hand. I think. Yes, you can. He has a little post in there. It's just a tight fit. Oh. Too tight, I busted his hand. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, try that again. Oh, I know why. Okay, there we go. Duh, hello. And then we got his mace weapon. What you gonna put in his other hand? And he is ready to battle other. Transformers, Cybertronians in the pits. 
in the Colosseum for the Quintessons. As you can see here, it has his horns, which are faux because just the way the transformation, it's the bottom side. And you can see here his back, his side, he's pretty slim and trim. So he matches up with my other Optimus Primes, leader class figures, and so forth. And I look forward to maybe doing some more pre Optimus Prime Primes. So there he is. It's Sentinel Prime. Hope you enjoyed this crazy creation. Hope this inspires you to build your own. Or check out our catalog for our most common creations. And you can buy some instructions and build some of our most popular creations. Until next time, happy building everyone. Sentinel Prime says, take care.